back to another vlog. So, y'all, first of all, we're in my closet, as you can see. And, um, it's a mess. It's a mess. I'm definitely going to organize my closet this weekend. I got sneakers. My sneakers are everywhere. <sighs> I need a good purse. It's time for me to take. It's time for me to take care of one of clothes and all that. But we're gonna do that. But we're not gonna do that today. So what we're about to do right now is I need to find me um some workout clothes because you guys i am going to a boxing class i'm so excited um and so you have to wear like neon colors so what i'm deciding that i'm going to wear on today are some nikes that i have let me show you they're real bright okay <laughs> like bright bright and quiet is kept yeah i haven't had these for a while i think one one of my kids bought me these years ago but i'm wearing these yeah y'all i've had these for a while so i'm gonna wear these and i have a like knit yeah i go with it it goes perfect with it i have this like knit or mesh i'm gonna say mesh i have this mesh shirt it's like a crop shirt i'm gonna wear but of course i'm gonna have my sports ball on it I'm gonna have a sports bra under it. So I think what I'm gonna wear is like all black. I think I'm gonna put on some leggings. I hope I got some leggings this clean. I think I do. And I hope my sports bra clean. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I don't see it, y'all. Okay, well, I'll, but okay, where is it? <laughs> For real, where, where's my um? leggings maybe i need to look downstairs because i did just wash some clothes but that's what we're doing today y'all we about to go to trap to we about to go to a boxing class i am very excited about it now it's not the boxing with the gloves it's more just like you you know using your hands as if you were using the boxing gloves so i'm excited about it and it is a glow-in-the-dark experience never heard of it but i'm excited about it so yeah y'all we about to go boxing. So, I hope I'm able to film, too, when I'm in there. Y'all think I'm able to film? I hope so. I'm sorry the camera look like this. It's been raining all of a sudden, so it just got my, the ambiance looking really, really, I don't know, damn like, but anyway. So, y'all, let me go ahead and finish. Let me get myself together. And I'll see y'all in there. Y'all about to walk in. I'm so nervous. What happened? Y'all good? Yeah. Everybody, everybody good on this on this beautiful Friday? Yeah. Y'all ready to work out? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. First time is put your hands up. Where you at? Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Experienced trappers, put your hands up. Tatiana, yo, you are experienced, girl. You, you might have not been in a while, but you experienced. I, I'm oh well, I'm talking about like a couple couple class. My bad. My dealt with it. One, say it again. One. Say it with your chest. One. Look deeper. One. A little louder. One. Get it again. One. Do it one more time. One. Give me no more. One. I said no more. Say it again. One. 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 Say it again. Say it with that two, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at you, check me out, check me out. With that two, you twist with it, one, two, twist with it, two, say it again, two, twist that foot, two, twist that leg, two, give me one more, two, give me one more, two, give me no more. Yeah, she said two, proudly, you hear me? Hey, look, you can put my hand weights down because we just practicing. Yeah, I mean, I know you want that work, I ain't mad at you, you feel But we just practicing right now, all right? Left hand in the L, say tree. tree. Say tree. tree. Say tree. tree. All right, with 
with that three. We're going right here. Check me out. It's a hook. It's a left hook going three. Twisting the leg. Three. Twist the foot. Three. Say it with me. Three. Say it again. Three. A little louder. Three. Energy. Three. Left foot in the front, right foot in the back. Keep going. Three. Left hook. Three. Say it. Three. One more. Three. No more. All right, right hand up. Say four. No, somebody has to say it. Four. Go home. <laughs> this is a trap. You feel? We talk. If four, if four, say four. Four. Say four. Four. Right hand up. Right here. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. All right, with that four, you twisting with it. We're going four. Right hook. Four. Say it again. Four. Say it one more time. Four. Do it again. Four. One more. Four. Come on again. Four. No more. All right. Time to put that left foot in the front. Just keep it right there. Yeah. Don't move. Left foot in the front. Yeah. Good morning, y'all. It is the next day. And I am up because we got to get out here on these streets. So in the morning, you guys, I like to start my morning off with a shot of this, which I need to get some more of. A shot of palm juice, which I normally find at Walmart. And my son said they have a larger container at Sam's, or it might be the same size, but it may be a few dollars different. But a shot of palm juice and a half of banana. So, well, I ain't gonna say I start my morning off with that. I'm gonna say, like, this is what I drink, like, if I'm gonna do a real intense workout or I need some more energy, this is it, you guys. Drink my a shot of pomegranate juice. And I'm gonna eat my half banana in a second. But so basically, um, let me load up this dishwasher and try and talk to y'all at the same time. Cause your girl is trying to. I got I got so much to do today. But I want to tell y'all about what happened at um at um. I want to tell y'all what happened at trap boxing. Y'all, that time was so much fun. Man, so basically when we first got there, um, you know, we registered, we signed in and everything. And so they gave us like some little 
this is camera cricket. They gave us they gave us they gave us some kind of like um they gave us some um like neon bracelets. So if you didn't have anything neon on, they're gonna definitely give you the bracelets so you can, you know, glow in the dark. And so um we all got there and you know everybody was just waiting around waiting on them to get started. So um what it is is that you do 13, he told us 12 rounds, but we end up doing 13 rounds and each round is three minutes apiece. So the first round was just strictly warm ups, which I thought was really, really cool. And then uh, the second round was he was showing us the uppercut, the uppercut techniques. We did an exercise with that. And then the third round was like, um, was it, what was it? I don't know the terminology, but each round, he showed us our techniques. We had to do that for three minutes. And then it was like a combination going for it, going for it. I will tell you guys, I was a little bit off of rhythm because, you know, it's like, this is my first time going to a boxing class, so I don't really know the techniques. But I really enjoyed that class, and it was just strictly upper body. It wasn't aggressive because after each round, he'll let you take a break, breathe a little bit, get you some water, you know. And so the class was pretty full by the time it was over. There was a lot of people there. And what made it real good was, what I liked about him, he made it fun. You know, he was hilarious, he was a comic, he had jokes, he made it so much fun. And so, but overall, I would rate the experience a nine. It was a nine experience, nine out of 10. I would really rate it a nine. Will I go back? Absolutely, I would definitely go back and do it again because like I said, and I slept so good, y'all. I slept like a baby. I don't know if because <laughs> the class was from seven to nine, and I didn't know why it took so long. I was like, okay, now I see why it's a two hour class because you have all of those rounds. Oh yeah, the 13th round was us just doing a cool down to give your body, you know, give your body a cool down, stretch your muscles a little bit. And so, yeah, but it was so much fun, y'all. It was fun, I didn't stop <laughs> unloading dishwasher. But yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a great time. It was a really, really great time. So today what we're about to do is I gotta go to the grocery store. I need to go to, I need to go to the grocery store. I need to go to Five Below and I need to stop by the Dollar Tree. And um, I'm torn between, do I wanna get iced coffee today or do I wanna get that Hulk cold brew from Smoothie King? I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I'm a little torn. But I do got some stuff that I want to share with y'all. So let me, because I got to I gotta really get my, tidy my kitchen up. I got a few dishes in the sink that I need to load. Cause I hate going to the grocery store and dishes is in the sink or my refrigerator isn't cleaned out. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. I know the refrigerator ain't, I know my refrigerator ain't, ain't it ain't too bad, cause ain't nothing in there. I ain't got too much going on as far as uh, um, groceries. Uh, yeah, but y'all, let me tell you what I've been doing. So y'all be so proud of me. I have really been trying to save money and meal prep and cut, save money and uh, really just meal prep my foods, like for real, for real, y'all. I went to the grocery store last week. I bought me a whole, I bought me a bundle of celery, chopped it up into nice little even spears. And that was my snack. I had celery and Italian dressing one day and I had celery and um, cucumber, cucumber. I had celery and ranch and I did the same thing. I bought me two bars, cucumbers, cutting them up. Those were good snacks for me. Um, I brought a fresh, head of lettuce, cut it up, and had some fresh salads. I was just like so proud of myself because God, that's one thing about me. Now, yeah, I will pay, I will pay for my convenience. I don't think that'll ever change because, you know, when God blessed me abundantly with my spiritual wealth, you know, with spiritual wealth comes a lot of prosperity. Y'all gonna have me a shelf. I am. Yeah, what about it? But until then, <laughs> I'm learning the importance of meal prepping your food and cooking your food. And so, uh -huh. I'm just, I'm just trying to do better. You know, you do better. You, you have more money in your pocket and you feel better. And I've been feeling better too because of that. So, yeah. 
But y'all, okay, I'm just talking too much. I need to get out of here. I was supposed to get out of here way early this morning, child. I got up and went right back to sleep. So, yeah, let me finish doing this. Yeah, so we at Lidl. As soon as I walk up to the front door, y'all, they have some pretty fall moms out here. And they're only $4.99. Yeah, I think I'm starting to get real into this whole, like, real um, plants and stuff. But they are so pretty. And what I did not know is that they have different types of moms. Did you know that? <laughs> I didn't know. They got purple. This is purple. Let me so show this you. is a sleigh. And they're $4.99. But they have... Um, they have purple. I didn't even know this. Purple moms. This is orange. Orange. Oh my God, they got the yellow right here. What else they got? These are so pretty. Did you know they had different ones? No, no it's like, only yellow. They got purple, orange, Yellow. I didn't know they had different moms. Oh, some different colors? No, some yeah. different yellow? No, no, this, see, that's purple. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and this is orange. I didn't know. And this is, this is the yellow. Yeah, this is yellow. That yellow. Yeah. 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 Yellow. They so pretty this for $4.99? Yeah. This is nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are nice. I'm here. The dollar tree got some really cute Halloween stuff. It's so cute. For the littles. Oh. Y'all, let me show y'all this. This is so cute. Look. This is so cute. Like if you're having a party. Or something. Like this is so cute. Oh, look at the little plates. Dracula. Okay. They got some cute stuff. They got the cute little spider baskets. You can have those for the trick or treaters if you want. The hat baskets. They got some cute stuff in here. For the Halloween. For the Halloween. All right, y'all. I know I'm country. I'm back at home. I'm so damn hungry. It's 2 10. I haven't eaten nothing, so I'm eating some meat and some cheese. Comment below if you do this. I know I'm not the only one. I gotta eat something. So I'm snacking on this. And. Wants to eat some of this. That's my little snacks to tie me over. Because I just stuck a baked potato in the oven and it's a big baked potato, so it's probably gonna take like an hour and a half to cook. And I'm gonna make me, I'm gonna cook up some ground turkey and mix it in with some nacho cheese. Like if you're making a, um, Rotel, minus the Rotel seasoning. Minus the Rotel seasoning, I mean sauce, but it's just gonna be like the ground turkey and the beef, and I'm gonna boil me some broccoli, and that's gonna be my baked potato. So, that's gonna be like my, my biggest meal for the day, basically. And I normally try to eat my biggest meal today between two and four. And then everything else after that is like vegetables, um, a salad, something like that. Or even sometimes, an omelet. I know I'm being rude, y'all, but I'm hungry. <laughs> Your girl had to snack on something. Real quick, let me get a little piece of watermelon. Mmm, it's sweet. It's real sweet. Mmm. 
Mm. But you know, that's a good way to start your day off. It's like something light versus eating something heavy. They never be their first meal, something heavy. Okay. So, I'm gonna do a grocery shop. I'm not gonna do a, a haul video to show y'all everything I got from the grocery store. I went to Walmart to get groceries and Lidl's as well. Stop by the Dollar Tree. I thought I was going back to Five Below today, but I didn't have to because I found some really good stuff at the Dollar Tree. So by the end of this video, you guys will definitely see my Dollar Tree and Five Below haul. So. Let's pull out all the guineas. Y'all, every time I shop at Lidl, I'm telling you, I always get some I save money every single time. And once you become a Lidl member, you sign up, y'all, they take major dollars off of your order. So if y'all have a Lidl in y'all area, if y'all have a Lidl in y'all area, don't keep on a Lidl job. Don't keep on a Lidl. Come on, mama. about little is um today was i was looking for a whole uncooked chicken to make a whole chicken for tomorrow y'all tell me why they wanted like 10 plus dollars for their whole chicken i said baby i'm not gonna do that i had to go to walmart anyway i went to walmart and i think it's like when i got was like seven dollars yeah i don't know if they were gonna sell but it was like one I think like one sixty something a pound or something like that. But if I pick that bad baby up, I say, yep, this is what I need in my life. This is definitely what I need. And we like it. I think that's it. That is a long So these are the items that I got from Lidl. Bananas, they had a body armor drinks, five for five dollars. Couldn't go wrong with that. I got my cucumbers for there. I got strawberries and um blueberries, which I'm gonna rinse these off real good. And I'm gonna show you guys how I've been making my infused water, which tastes so good. I got a pack of taco seasoning, um, some tortilla wraps, lettuce. I got me some chicken um, flavor rice and some Mexican cheese. And I also got um, some frozen fruit from Lidl's. The items I got from Walmart was some vegetable oil spray, um, some fat-free sherbet ice cream. I got three of the Martha White muffins. I love these muffins, y'all. I just love them. Real easy to cook. And then I did find my whole chicken and it was $7.62. I got a whole chicken bell pepper, onion. Um, oh, I got these from Lidl as well. I got my 12 count eggs from Lidl. Um, I got a big, huge, I bought two of the rustic potatoes, but I got one that's in the oven now because I'm gonna have that later. And I got me some salsa from Walmart. And also I got from Lidl was a 12 pack of water, which is at the end of the steps, so yeah. So this is my grocery haul. I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff up and I'm gonna, Go ahead and make my um, infused water so it can be on chill. That water be so good. And I'll just show you guys how to make it. It's
All right, y'all, so I'm gonna show y'all what I got from Five Below, The Dollar Tree, and Family Dollar. But before I do that, I wanna tell you guys what's going on. So I have um, signed up to do some volunteer services at the church. And so right now I'm working with the Director of Education. And so she's asked if I would, so she asked if I would, um, you know, organize the kids zone. And this kids zone is from ages K through six. And I was so excited <laughs> when she asked me to do that. I was like, yeah, I would love to do that. Cause y'all know I love organizing. I love cleaning. I love decorating. So I just came up with some fun ideas because I haven't really, I've actually done kids room and organized kids room, but it was just for a specific age. But when you got an age group between K between five and 12, you have to be a little creative. So I came up with just a few things to make the classroom look fun for the kids and, you know, get some kind of high school, not high school, <laughs> get some kind of decor in here. So I'm just gonna make it really, really cute because it's a it's a case, it's like a bookshelf um, in the classroom and it's just, it just needs something. But these are things that I'm gonna actually do to like decorate the bookcase and make it look more fall-like. But as far as the school and supplies items, those are things that's gonna be like around the classroom. So I need to go through all those things. But right now I'm just gonna show you guys a haul of what I got. But anyway, I picked up, this is what I got from Five Below. Y'all hit the deck pack on these. I'm so happy when I seen this. This is so nice to have in the classroom. These clear containers, and if I had a Cricut machine, they would definitely be labeled. But you know, you don't necessarily have to label them. It's just for the aesthetics. But this is so nice. Great organizing um, container. I love it. Like I said, it's clear. Yeah, they have a nice weight on them, okay? Really nice. Look at that. Look at all this space. The depth is perfect. I love this. Love, love, love this. So I got that from Five Below. And when I was in Family Dollar, I picked up two of these little pencil holders. They were for $125. I got those. I also got um, these containers from um, Family Dollar as well. And look at them, y'all. I'm going to have a ball. You talking about organizing some stuff? Y'all, this is essential. It's so much you can do with these type of containers. So I picked up four of these from Family Dollar. Is it four? Yeah, I got four of those from Family Dollar. Super duper excited about that. And then, as far as organizing, yo. Okay, and as far as the items that I got from the Dollar Tree, from the Five and Beyond section, y'all picked up two of these. What? What are you saying? Like, come on, okay? I picked up two of these from the Five and Beyond section. And as far as like just trying to be a little festive, I got this little pumpkin sign, which is so cute, pumpkin patch. Isn't that cute? I got that. Then I got these little, oh, come on now. These little cute little um, Velcro pumpkins. Oh my God, too cute. Like, really, really cute. Then I got this little, it's a bookcase, but it's so cute. Super duper cute. Isn't that cute, y'all? Got that. And I try to get as many signs as I can. You know, that's fun. Cinnamon sugar. This is a cute sign. It's so cute. When I like the way I type, it has like how you bake, you mix and add. It's so cute. It has like the baking process on here, which I thought would be really kid friendly. I thought that was cute. This is cute. <laughs> this is really cute. So I got that. Then I picked up another sign that says, out of leaves and pumpkin, please. So cute. And I had picked up some thumbtacks. Got a pack of thumbtacks. What else I got? Y'all, when I see this one, when I seen this, to go on that little kid's corner, they little table that they have. Y'all, it's so cute. It's soft. And again, I got it from the Five Beyond section. Oh my God. Super duper cute. This is cute. This is something cute. I thought it'd be cute to put on the teacher's desk. Pumpkin slice and cozy nights. Isn't that cute? It's so cute. cute, cute. 
And I got three of the. Oh, I got another sign. Oh, I got one, I got another sign too. Here's another one. It says Fall Sweet Fall. Y'all, this is so it's gonna be so cute. I'm so excited. And then last but not least, I picked up three of these three of these pumpkins just to place them somewhere throughout the classroom. This is so nice. She is going to be so excited. I had texted her earlier and I was like, hey, I'm going to let you know I'm very excited about decorating the room. She's like, oh my goodness, thank you so much. Yes, you are a sweetheart. She's going to be so excited about this. So yeah, y'all, these are the items. So I'm so very, very excited.